Hello everybody, my name is Burles and welcome to our first ever Gwent video. Today we will be going and starting our new series which would be the Faction Tire List for crafting silvers and gold cards at the very moment, so epic and legendaries. We will go over the decks uh, that Skellig has which are competitive in the meta and we will only cover the class specific cards which are good. So we will go over the deck types that you can choose from and uh, then we'll go into the silver and later into the gold aka legendary cards. Okay, so Skellige is at, the, at this moment in a very good position. They have three very viable decks. They have the Resurrect Weather Skellige, which is really strong. You don't have to play the weather necessarily, but just buffing and strengthening your minions while uh, also uh, making them revive the round later is a really strong deck. Then we have the Queensguard discard or the regular discard, we will just call it discard decks. And as the last option we have the damage your opponent's minions uh, and buff your own minions deck which is just basically a control Skellige. So we'll go over some uh, or the silver cards first and then the golden cards which are good for those decks. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the silvers, aka epics, that should be crafted for Skellige. So, first we're gonna go over some that are overall good for any Skellige deck. And this would be Gremist, spawn an impenetrable fog, blood curling roar, or clear skies. Great card, excellent, very viable, versatile, can be played in any deck, as can Sigurd Drifa. Resurrect the units from your deck. This includes silver units as well as bronze units, so you can do a whole lot of shenanigans with her. Uh, another card that can be played in any is Donar Unhindered. Toggle the units lock. Discard a random bronze card from your opponent's deck to your graveyard. And this is also a card that is quite potent and uh, is a staple in most decks. And then we slowly start to go into the more specific cards. So for the discard part, for the Queensguard and regular discard decks, Dragbond Do and Holger Blackhand, they are here for the Queensguard, for the buffing part, and they are quite important. Uh, they are not tier zero craft, but they are definitely tier one. So after you get uh, the Queensguard cards and the basic overall good cards, you're gonna go for Dragbondu and Holger Blackfan because they can give you a whole lot of advantage. Uh, Sven Rigay is also, you know, you draw a card, you discard a card, and he's very good for those discard decks, but doesn't see much play in Queensguard. And for the Resurrect decks that we have been talking about, here we have the one and only Morkvarg. Morkvarg, just alone by himself, is the MVP, the most important, the most glorious craft you can have for a Resurrect Skellige deck and he just by himself is uh, very self-explanatory. For the control Skellige, here we have Blue Boy Lugos, we have Udalric, uh, Jenga Fret is also pretty good and uh, these cards are the three I would recommend to you if you're going for a more, more controlish, not so much archetype based Skellige deck, but just good cards. They can give you a whole lot of advantage. Blue Boy Lugos, obviously, uh, the Spectral Whale damages an opponent's row by one, buffing your minions if they benefit from this. Jenga Fret, also a decent card if uh, you have minions that want to give want to get damaged and Udalric the spy which is overall overall good. Okay, going into the legendaries of Skellige, we have Coral which in my opinion is the strongest one of them and she can be played in any deck if it's Queensguard, if it's Resurrect, if it's Control, uh, if it's double uh, your damaged minions attack. Coral is a good card and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Then for the Queensguard package we have Ceres. She obviously gets resurrected quite often. The good thing is, is uh, she can uh, very soon uh, give you a boost and a golden card that gets spawned for free. She is quite like Saskia but she gets used more often. We have Hjalmar which is a card that is at the moment used in Queensguard and he is having a quite good time 
uh, when you kill Lord of Anvik. When you kill him, he gets a boost by 10, something like Egebracht in Nilfgaard, but uh, you don't give your opponent a bronze card, instead you give him this 5 attack creature that has to be killed. Uh, Madman Lugos here, a card that is played in discard, pure discard, but it can also be a good card, good removal in uh, Queensguard. Uh, we have Ermion, which is just a good cycle card if you want some specific combo pieces. And last but not least, Wild Boar of the Sea, a good card for resurrect decks and uh, using him and Morkvarg. Uh, is an amazingly good combo and you will often find your opponent just conceding after you go uh, into this into this play. So I would definitely recommend crafting Wild Boar of the Sea even before Coral if you're going for a resurrect build. And this would be everything for this time. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions on what what to craft specifically in order or what deck is better, Queen's Guard or let's say Resurrect. Uh, feel free to ask me and if you want a specific class or I should say faction uh, to do uh, to be covered next just leave a comment down below thank you very much for watching my name is Brodos and until the next time stay lucky